Okay, for the next DIY project, I decided to build a cigar box amplifier, and uh, here we have it. Um, for starters, I went to a local cigar shop, and they had a bunch of oddly shaped cigar boxes. This is one, so the box actually orients this way. Um, and I picked this thing up. They sold to me for a buck fifty. Um, and then I, I, as I looked at it, I really didn't know what I was going to make with it. But then when I looked at it, I thought, oh, kind of looks like the shape of an amp. And I've wanted an amp to keep on the bench for testing when you're, you know, replacing pickups in a guitar or whatever it might be. It's great to have an amp there. So um, I found a little amp kit. More about that in a second. But um, so I put that in here and I wanted one that was very simple because it's just basically a testing amp. So some of them get pretty fancy with various, you know, different tone knobs and all that stuff. I wanted to keep it simple. So this one is very, very simple. We have a um, on off switch that controls the volume. You can see the LED there on the front panel, of course, a speaker, um, an input jack. And then this is a high low gain switch. More about that in a second. Um, luckily for this, I had almost everything that I needed. The box I got for a buck fifty. This is a handle from a drawer um, from not the house that I live in now, but the previous house. We replaced some some drawer handles, and this is one of the extras that I held on to. Um, this is a speaker grill out of a car, out of you know like an audio uh, car audio system. Uh, as I mentioned, the box was a buck fifty. The components. This here I bought um, a couple years ago. I needed some really small hinges, and I found this this kit. Um, at, I think it was Lowe's or maybe Home Depot, and it had a couple small hinges in this little like jewelry box latch thing. So I bought the whole kit. And I didn't need the latch, so I just kind of threw it in a box, and I found it. Now, if I was doing it again, I'd buy a silver one because all the other hardware, as you can see, is silver. So it's kind of funny that that one's gold. But but regardless, it just works to keep the back of the box closed. Um, and then I had some feet that I used for a previous project. I had a couple extra, and, and there they go. Um, this is where the battery mounts here, are these two. Um, but the beauty of this actually is really, really nice and compact and light. If we open the back, um, there are a number of like DIY kits on the market, and I went to Cigar Box Junction, not to be confused with Cigar Box Nation, and they have a little kit that has this board, and it's a one watt, I believe, board that just has a very, very simple um, layout. So I thought, yeah, that's simple enough, and they sell it in various capacities. You can get a completed one where you just drop it in. You can get one where everything's already wired up. You can get one with all the components. You can get one where you just get the PCB and have to solder your own components, and They've got a lot of uh, different versions. Of course, I'm an electronics guy, so I wanted to do as much as possible. So I put this little thing together, um, and then you get, you know, th there's a, an output for the speaker, there's an input for the jack, and then there's a nine volt battery. Hopefully you can see that in there. And a little battery clip, which you see on the bottom. Uh, then it has a little jumper here. Hopefully you can see that. There's a little jumper on the board and if the jumper's on, it's in high gain mode. If it's off, it's in low gain mode. And I tried it both ways and they're both pretty good. So I decided, um, you know what? I will just uh, make a switch there. So I made a little jumper block uh, harness that goes to a little um, single pull, single throw switch. Put a little switch on the side here. So up is high gain, down is low gain. That way you get the best of both worlds. Um, pretty simple. It took virtually no time. The one thing that it was missing, it did not have an LED. So um, I emailed the uh, site owner for Cigar Box Junction, asked him if I could add, if there was, you know, I know how things work enough to know that if as long as you get two current points, uh, you can put an LED in there. You just need, you know, to you probably need a resistor or something. So um, I asked him and he had a, a layout already ready that he emailed me. Here's how you add an LED. So I did put that LED on the front. That's basically it for the innards of the, of the little amp. So what happens, it's very, very simple. When you turn the knob, the LED comes on, um, you turn it up. And then as I mentioned before, it has a high and a low gain mode. So let's test it out with a few different instruments and uh, see what it sounds like.